I feel very excited to share with you my latest painting. Um, it's inspired by Henry David Thoreau and his writings on nature and uh, birds. This painting is of two sparrows and one of them is singing because one of them is a song sparrow and the other is supposed to be a fox colored sparrow. And this is uh, one of his um, entries in his journal uh, where he talks about the singing sparrows and I felt so inspired by uh, the his writings that I decided to paint them. I am also um, felt like painting them in a Japanese style uh, similar to Japanese watercolor which um, I love the way they paint a lot of animals and birds in nature uh, with very high contrast, usually a black ink, and then um, lots of movement. And so um, even though I'm using a brush on the birds, I do most of the background with a cloth um, and a soft Kleenex to just make it very atmospheric. I want the focus to be kept on the sparrows themselves um, as if nothing else matters in this moment. So. Um, Mostly it's very neutral, but as you can tell, I'm adding a little bit of lavender and purple and um, some green tones and red tones um, just to add a little bit of variance. And trying to keep some of the whites uh, in the high contrast areas to show off the beak and the legs, which aren't actually in place yet. But um, And I will use a brush to fill in some of those tight um, areas that I can't get with my uh, fingertips. So um, I'm also painting this indoors so you might see a little bit of reflection on the dark spots. They're actually probably darker than uh, they even look right now uh, just due to the reflections because it's um, nighttime and I have uh, ceiling lights on. So again I wanted to make this uh, very gestural and uh, very much fluid like the watercolor paintings uh, by Japanese artists and so um, the legs are just kind of almost like scribbles and uh, just minimal amounts of detail to uh, because I I just feel sparrows are so tiny and they're so quick. You know, every time I try to take a photo of a sparrow, because we have all kinds of sparrows here where I live in Chicago. Um, they're in my yard. I see them in parking lots and trees. Um, every time I go out for a walk, I, I see them bouncing and hopping around, but they don't stay still for very long. It's like you just see a glimpse of them and then they're gone. So that's what I'm trying to capture here. So, and it's actually kind of fun to paint in this loose way and to just like this right here where I'm rubbing out uh, some of the thickness in the beak, um, just to create happy accidents, which um, are not usually planned. It's just kind of a trial and error type of thing. And you just go with, you know, the experiences you have and painting and the knowledge you have and then um, just trying new things and being curious. So I am, there are speckles on the breasts and uh, feathers of these sparrows. So I do add, like I said, just a hint of the, the, the rust colored spots. And now this background, one thing that I don't show, um, here I am trying to fill in, just add some shadow under the feet and trying to fill in some of the white areas that are in kind of tight um, little nooks and crannies with a sable brush. And I did the darker areas again with a, a stiffer bristle brush. And um, I did, I wanted to keep it kind of loose. So the sable brush is going to leave a lot more detail. So I'm just using it for some of the highlights and uh, details like the eyes. And um, so I'm, I'm using a palette knife to just kind of get really into the fibers of this canvas. This is a stretched canvas and it's actually um, in the golden ratios, which is something that uh, Leonardo da Vinci came up with. And, and the golden ratios um, 
for example, this canvas is sized eight inches by 13 inches, which, which is uh, the perfect, apparently golden ratio that Leonardo da Vinci discovered. And uh, so I'm right now using a bristle brush and then I'll rub it in with uh, some cloth and soft tissues. The tissue did actually leave a little bit of lint, which I uh, removed with a soft sable brush off camera. And again, trying to keep um, some high contrast between the background and then the birds. So I try to keep the background really light. And um, after I do uh, the, all the brush work, I go back with a cloth and with a sable brush and just uh, blend the background a little bit more. I don't want to overwork it, but I definitely went back and softened everything up. I'm using a brush to get some of the, the lighter colors on and I'm putting light right by the beak because I do want that to be a focal point. And this little cute little tail that's kind of propped up in the air, I love the way they, they when the birds, the fat little birds pop their tail up like that. All right, this is the finished piece. I hope you enjoy it. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up.